and they've lost faith that government can be advocates for their family members. What if we could look at every patient and say, we invested a trillion dollars to find cures in our lifetime, that we put a generation of scientists to work, we brought down the cost of healthcare, and we extended the quality of life. Let's go big again in our country. And I think we can unite people if we do. And speaking of going big and being bold, in our lifetime, I want us to see a country, when it comes to our energy resources, that is 100% renewable. And fairly, you're asked, well, how are you going to do it? And I'll tell you, it's by not pitting America's worker against her job and clean air and clean water. This false choice has existed and held us back from making progress. I choose my job and feed my family. I get it. And I think as Democrats, too often we've just opposed pipelines, but we've never talked about investing in greening the grid and giving a wage guarantee to a worker who's displaced or making sure that they have training so that they can work on solar, work on wind, work on alternative fuel cells. My goal in America is that when we talk about climate change, it doesn't start an argument. It just starts a lot of people's work days because they're working in renewables. Now, these issues, reducing gun violence, investing in schools, greening the grid, having a health care guarantee, they have so much consensus among the American people, but I've seen seven years in Congress now what holds us back from making progress. The progress that you make the phone calls and the door knocks and hope to see happen. It's two things. It's dirty maps and dirty money. It is time that we clean up the dirty maps and have independent redistricting in every state in America so that no group, no community is disenfranchised and politicians are no longer able to protect their friends and themselves and that we pass legislation to strip down to the studs the Citizens United ruling.